yo guys what's going on we're back here for the video hopefully you're doing well today is tuesday we have a lot of information coming out for the next promo which is this friday winter wild card yes the promo is returning i'm very excited it's probably one of the best promos that we ever get in you know in fifa or eafc right now usually it's a you know we have foot miss but they changed the name and stuff like that in the past but we have a lot of information coming out today ea tweeted out some of the crazy rewards coming out i don't know if it's gonna be like swaps like it wasn't past uh promos and past fifa and stuff like that man but we might be getting it like last year where it was it really wasn't swap or we did get swaps and they kind of moved it over to this objective and stuff like that because you want to prepare us for this year they were talking about removing swaps but in my opinion it's probably one of the best parts of the game in my opinion is grinding choosing packs for players SBCs, and stuff like that for your teams but if this video does help you guys out at all drop a thumbs up subscribe if you guys want more content like this give you guys all the information about the game and what's coming out so far so we did tweet about it like i said crazy crazy stuff coming out we have foot strip coming out with the full team leaked as well which is absolutely amazing a lot of the cards are super crazy and you do see a lot of the cards uh kind of being repeated but it's a lot of the big cards man i really do think it's because the game is you know kind of on the decline a lot of players aren't coming you know playing the game now it's winter you know it's christmas time man if you do celebrate christmas one of the biggest times of the year people do like to get the game for like you know a little bit cheaper it's like half off like 40 50 bucks then compared to like 80 90 almost 100 bucks for people who pay like back in august september time man so people are going to come back to this Game, i could definitely assure you that um hopefully not as sweaty games and stuff like that I mean, when you guys are playing rivals or weekend league man so a lot of noobs hopefully the christmas noobs as people do say are coming but as you guys do see here on twitter this is from ea i'm on foot share just twitter man so shout out to him again because you know he does help us out with like you know the team deletes and stuff like that but ea did tweet out the winter wild card objectives and sbcs already man which is absolutely insane and starting from friday the 22nd which is this friday all the way up to january 4th going into the next year 2024 which is absolutely crazy how fast time's going but yeah man winter wild card is coming first you guys do see this friday we have a gabriel martinelli and a hullet you guys do see the, the images and i'm assuming ea are gonna release the baby icons or a little bit lower versions of icons i'm not 100 percent but I'm, I'm looking at the hullet image that says baby icon from last year and year, the previous years you know hernandez del p you see right you see keen shuker trezeguet i mean a lot of the cards are absolutely amazing you know for me i'm looking looking forward to hullet if they do make like maybe a boosted lower rated hullet that can be really really cool make it like 15 spcs man i really don't care but it's make them usable i think people just really care about usability in the game you already know that the game is not the best right now man a lot of people don't really like the gameplay i mean you know to each their own everyone likes to you know some people like the gameplay some people don't in my opinion i think it could really be better uh it's not my favorite but you know what man the sbcs i think i do like you know immobile not the craziest cards a lot of these cards aren't super nuts man but there are packs coming out as well i think more people might be going for packs saving packs for team of the year because team of the year is also coming around and i think that's very important for you guys to really think ahead maybe a month or two in advance because it's going to creep around us you want to make sure you guys have those big packs for me i'm gonna save up all those like 86 i need those walkout guaranteed walkout packs i will be saving for team of the year man i want to get one 100 percent man so Moving into the, into this winter wild card, man. I mean, the cards will look super crazy, man. Like a Shuker. I really never see anyone use these cards. And Bob, I think, is another card that people really do get every year. He's had cards since FIFA 20, FIFA 19. People use him. He's absolutely insane. Allison, you guys do see uh, Sar as well. I don't know. That's not Sar. That's... Uh... Oh, that's a winger, man. I forget his name from uh, from Monaco, man. Uh, I forget his name, man. But he he had some special cards in the past. I think he's had some World Cup cards as well, man. I forget. Oh, Diata. I'm actually blind. I really can't see. I apologize. So Diata coming in. He's had cards in the past, man. He's actually like a pace merchant, bro. Minimum 96 pace. He's absolutely amazing for your teams for your super subs like Adama. Where people have Adama on their team. Absolutely insane. Uh, John Stones. I really don't see anyone really grinding these cards. Like, oh, I really want this. The only best ones I really see is maybe the Havertz. Havertz is always really good. Maybe Diata because of his pace. Allison, because you always need like, a good, untradeable Brazil keeper, a Prem. Can't Other than that, these are looking like some NPC, like, first, never played FIFA, like, looking SBCs, man. I don't know what's going on. Some of them, as well, may also come out as objectives, but I feel like EA should definitely man but they haven't really talked about it any, anywhere else man but they leaked the entire spcs man so put parif low-key out of a job now kind of kind of an element i don't know what the hell's going on so ea just like put these guys out of their job and just just leak everything for you guys in a week advance or something they use that all the time and they do it all the time now but i've been noticing it man but we move on to put sheriff who leaked the entire team and this team looks absolutely insane this is when i say that they're really trying to keep the fan base together trying to bring people back to keep releasing this damn van dyke man van dyke had four cards already this year he's had informs he's had he's had the the nike promo he's had the the rule not rule breaker trailblazer he's had some crazy he's already had four or five promo cards man i don't even think van dyke's doing that good in the premier league i mean liverpool are doing well man but 
four promos, five promos, and inform and stuff like that, man. Crazy. Another Ronaldo. That's a third Ronaldo, I believe, this year. No, second Ronaldo. Who just had an, an SPC. Uh, Berardi, who had, a, who had a... What was it? He had an inform. Who else we have? I think Wijnaldum just had a card. Baldi trying to bring back. Militao as well. Ezzy, Royce. Grimaldo. I mean, honestly, bro. Grimaldo is a center mid. So I feel like this might be... We do see a lot of the times where EA do release some players with like different positions and stuff like that, man. They usually do it for winter wild card. Sometimes they do it for other promos and stuff like that, man. Usually like past January, like in February or March time. Isaac coming out as well. All the stats are predictions of man. So this could just be wrong. But maybe Grimaldo is not going to be a center mid. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But, you know, Rafinha, I think it's definitely a W. Definitely get a counter against, like, Vinicius and stuff like that. Rodrigo, who, people who have those cards. But, man, this team looks absolutely amazing. The, the market, as you guys can see, like, even, like, Nate, my boy, foot accountant, saying that the, it's actually mudded. This thing is mudded, bro. I mean, the market is crazy. It's already at an all-time low right now, man. It's crazy. Alex, Alexia Putelas, man. I wonder if there's going to be any more female cards. They're really giving out, honestly, bro, in my opinion. I think this is the theory. They're dropping this Ronaldo card because Ronaldo will not get a team of the year. He is scoring 50 plus goals. He might get man of the year. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Man of the year award. But I don't see him getting team of the year. Maybe small chance against SPC, but I doubt it. I feel like they're dropping him for winter wall card, and then that's it, man. So we will see the card. I mean, I'm really excited for this promo because I do love a lot of these players in IRL. You know, Grimaldo is a W card. Militao I've loved since, you know, FIFA 19. Absolutely amazing. I've poured through. You know, I love Cherokee, IRL, Berardi, Rafinha, Dybala, Ronaldo, Van Dijk, Butelas. Like, maybe six or seven cards that are absolutely insane. This, you know, all, some of them are maybe a little uh, fodder-ish. Like, you know, like Eze or something, or Wijnaldum, a, a little bit, bit fodder-ish. Isaac could be usable. But even Enzo, man, what an absolute beast of a card. People try to Evo him, but 89 rated Enzo could be an absolute W. I'm, I'm very, very excited for this. Stats are predicted, like I said. But we do come here to Azzy, or Az I think it's Azzy, Foot Trader. I believe if I'm saying the name wrong, I apologize. But come here with a three times guaranteed Witcher Wild Card store pack. Store pack. So coins or FIFA points. You know EA will milk this, make it like $30, something like that. Because we all know EA love their store packs. If anything's wrong in this game, the first thing to fix is the store packs. Because they, they need that money, bro. So, I mean, it's in guaranteed Winter Wild Cards, which I always do love. I wonder if it's to be a, maybe a rating, like guaranteed, or maybe like a, a max or a minimum. I don't know. We'll see what EA do. As well as includes three guaranteed winter wildcard player items, 86 or higher. So, like I said, I knew it they were gonna do that 86 plus minimum. 20 rare gold players as well with 85 or higher. Two winter wildcard player loans and icons. So we have the icons coming out as well. Hopefully, you know, some crazy icons come out. We will see. But I mean, one of two, and they only get 10 matches, man. Obviously, I'm very excited for the icons. You feel like the icons are always the best part of the game, you know, very, very exciting. Next, we have some more packs coming out. Probably going out with uh, Winter Wildcard, maybe the, the swaps. We could see a return of swaps, man. I do love the swaps, but also it could be a just objectives, like I've been saying, man. They could go from moving on from swaps from last year, where they kind of went to more objective-wise, which we could see here with 84 times 20s, 83 times 20s, 83 times 10s, 81 times 11, 85 times 5, 84 times 5, and then more fodder. You know, honestly, like you see here, crazy cards, daily logins always being added. And honestly, man, I think anything that's like 84 times 20s, you gotta be safe for team of the year man obviously winter wild card is an absolute insane promo man but team of the year man it's team of the year those cards last in your team forever i mean you do see like the winter wild card some of them could be fodder which you do want to take that chance man like you you save them for another month and you up to the end of january where they put the whole team they're gonna add female cards and male cards for team of the year I mean, we will be there man i want to see that mbappe again another mbappe a holland you know some crazy crazy cards maybe a Messi. you never know they might add a Messi or something de bruyne uh maybe maybe a roger a lot of city players we will see man butelis the goat you never know, man. I also wanted to bring up the, the foot bin uh spcs from last year man because we could really see what we got last year for swaps it was probably one of the like kind of the last swaps we got we had we had a foot birthday as well and that was it they dropped like foot birthday swaps and then that was it but for winter wild card man one of the last swaps that we did get we got some crazy cards we started off with you know we had world cup at this time the world cup ended but they had a lot of world cup spcs and stuff we had like Di maria one of the craziest craziest spcs man, that we had he was on my team for like months uh but we did get like trip year we had 83 times 25 these were spcs by the way or for a token so you guys had the tokens the swaps whatever so for 10 tokens you had 83 times 25s five tokens you had at 84 times three but i feel like EA could drop either as objectives or spcs and make them a little bit more expensive like inform stuff like that we will see a rise of informs in, in uh in stores and stuff like that for sure on a transfer market 85 times 10 was 15 tokens we had a tonali a lot of people had his tonali man but i think he really got outgrown in, the, in, in like a month or two man a lot of, i saw a lot of people in january using this card february and then he kind of died off because a lot more cards crazier you know 
and kind of outgrew him, man. So we move on from that. 85 plus winter wild card player pick. So we had player picks as well. Crazy card, one of five. So we had the player picks of the winter wild card team one of five card for 15 tokens and honestly man these were not easy tokens to grind these were a lot of games we had uh we had to be had friendly games we had to play better than back in the day bro like fifa 20 at the grindies out in rivals which is absolutely insane man but you know a little bit better than who was in the previous years man but also 81 times 11 three tokens not too crazy as well as they did drop they end up dropping more packs as well man i feel like they gotta compensate for this man we're not gonna have world cup this year we're gonna have euro but that's later on like june like almost summertime man so we have to compensate for these crazy spcs man and packs and objectives that they drop for uh for for the world cup man because he had so much content from last year man and compared to this year man it's kind of like really really on the low end man but a lot of those crazy cards they did drop like campaign player picks which is probably gonna drop again this year a lot of spcs player spcs like the, even like this nick pope people you saw nick pope every game man absolute insane card obviously they dropped like some marquee matchups he's like kind of these lower end spcs and stuff like that like this 2-2 guy no one really used him more of a fodder card rodrigo de paul a lot of people had challenges daily logins you guys see team of the week packs which we do need again uh league upgrade I think they should drop this again, man, because I mean, honestly, we have that league upgrade right now, so probably won't drop this again. But Ozil, people love the Ozil, you know, because he's a legend, legend of the card. 85 doubles, Paya, people did love the Paya. I think it was because of his dynamic, he had like a, a Santa hat on or something like that, man. So if they do that again, that could be a W. Uh, they had some winter wildcard, again, league upgrades, stuff like that, 75 pluses. They released Jarzinho, SBC, everyone and their mom and their dog had this Jarzinho card. Absolutely crazy card. Super, super nuts. They had some some hero or base uh, hero picks, stuff like that. Some challenge, you guys do see here, a lot of cards, a lot of picks, stuff like that. They had Hullet's son as an SBC, but the coolest part about this, they gave him they gave Hullet's icon, Stats to his son's car, which was really, really cool. I think that was really the W. You know, that was a big dub. Paolo Maldini. People got Paolo Maldini, you know, at SBC. Very, very good as well. We had this Canadian guy from TFC. Uh, obviously, I did him. I think he was... Uh I think he was uh, for part of the swaps, man. So a lot of people did him. Uh, Bayi, people like the Bayi card challenges. Lots and lots of challenges. A lot of upgrade packs, like 870 plus triples. 84 times fives. You know, we had this Noah Fatiga. Pretty cool cards, man. But they drop a lot of fodder rich cards. Zidane ended up dropping as well. Zidane, a lot of people did Zidane. Politano, return of Politano. He always gets a card every year during the winter time. So a very, very cool card. And then we moved on to Centurion, which we'll get to that later on in, in uh, videos, man. But yeah, man, a lot of the cards are pretty cool. I think it's definitely a W promo, in my opinion, man. I'm very excited for this. I love this promo. Probably one of the best promos in the game. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. If you guys, you know, you guys like Winter Wild promo, let me know. These cards are always really crazy. I think it's better, you know. I mean, I love footmen and stuff like that, man. But this promo is a close second for sure. Probably one of the best times of the year. You know, it's Christmas time. It's winter time. You know, it's just vibes, man, 100%. I'm very excited, bro. Let me know if you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a thumbs up if you guys made it all the way to the end. I love you guys. We will be here for this promo, man. I, I'm really, really excited to grind, man. So I love you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.